Take the trash. <sighs> I keep telling little car, it's too small. They're not gonna pick it up. <sighs> Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're gonna be talking about the board game Garbage Day. I know this is a rather strange one to talk about, and I actually got it for five bucks, and it came with this cool mouse pad mat. Let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. So you have your own room and you are trying to slowly but surely add cards to the garbage. Now the lid flips upside down to create kind of this balancing tray. And there are certain cards that you're able to balance there or add to your room. Now you want to make sure that you have the least amount of points in your room because once you make it to 10, then you must clean your room. And cleaning your room consists of putting every card and balancing it around the rim of the trash can. Why does this matter and why is this difficult? That's because there are two holes in the playing cards. In fact, when I first played it, which is pretty hilarious, we thought that you only had to have one hole kind of casting a shadow. So while you're slowly starting to add cards, you want to make sure the hole is visible to the ground. We thought it was initially one and we were able to get through every single card in the game, including all the expansions I got with it um, for free. Again, with that $5 deal, it was outrageous. Now, what ended up being the case for the game is you need both of the holes visible which is infinitely harder and the game doesn't last nearly as long as it did when we only did one hole even though we very much enjoyed it that way also so you were trying to add to the trash can but by cleaning up your room that means you may put maybe let's say 10 cards maybe even 11 cards or whatever it may be those cards can potentially knock it down now if you knock that um, trash can over then you were eventually out of the game and it's the last person standing kind of game now there are also cards that can kind of take your opponent and throw them under the bus by adding to their room or switching cards from your room to theirs or making them have to clean your room there's so much back and forth with it it is such a nice dexterity card game and it's very simple it packs small plays quite big i'm actually a big fan of this game it quite surprised me especially for five bucks they were like oh it comes with this mouse pad too i was like why not the box is kind of cool it's a bit of a trash can I'll at least give it a try and I'm super happy that I did. I highly recommend this game. Again, I got it for five bucks. I have seen online it does go for rather cheap. So if you do find a good deal on this game, I do recommend picking it up if this sounds like the kind of game for you. If you're looking for something that is just a calm conversation game while you're just catching up with friends, a really small filler game, this does fit into that category very well easy to teach fun for the whole family and honestly that price point is just such a good selling point for such a simplistic game now while i don't see myself pulling it out that often i'm very happy to have it into my collection but honestly that's all i have for you guys today if you are interested in notifications there is a bell up there somewhere please like comment and subscribe i do appreciate any feedback i'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous and with your guys help i have been doing so Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Fridays, my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.